I'll be giving a tour of the all new Microsoft Teams. Teams has been rewritten from the ground up to be faster, more simple, and we've added top customer requests like faster tenant switching. Teams is twice as fast on boot, faster joining in meetings, and 50% less memory consumption. So let's get started. I'm here at the new Teams sign-in screen. You can see it's kind of fun here, a little whimsy. I've got my accounts over here on the left that I can choose from. I can create another account by just clicking here. We're not gonna do that today. Even the icon for Teams has a little new next to it. That's your app launcher. I'm gonna go here and just select an account and boot. And this is gonna show you how fast Teams boots compared to the past. Got a nice new Teams logo here. It boots twice as fast as in the past. And here I am right in Teams. It booted very fast compared to the past. If I switch here, I have all my Teams and all the other information. I'm gonna maximize. The first thing you'll notice is the user interface is much lighter. By default, we use the Windows 11 system settings. So if you have a lighter system setting, it'll adopt that. You can also change it to light mode, dark mode, or the classic mode with the darker blue across the top. I'll show how to do that in just a little bit. The other thing you'll notice is over on the right, we have the new channels and this channel pane is open by default. So you can see all the people in the channels. You could add a description. You can manage the channel and also notifications. If you wanna collapse this in the upper right, just say close channel details and that will collapse. I'll open it up there. The other thing is, is now you can have posts on the top or the bottom. If you hit the three dot menu here, you can choose to see new posts at the top like this, or you can go and put them back down along the bottom like this, where they've been historically. The other thing you'll note is that there's a little three dot menu here with some options. So mark all as red, which is a nice new one. Manage teams, your pending invites and analytics. So some of the user interfaces for a couple of these things have been switched around. And there's a little plus button here. So if you wanna create a team or join a team, that's where you hit that button. And here are all the different options that have been set up in my organization on the different template teams that I could start. And I'll hit back. If you wanna go back to the old classic teams, in the upper left, you'll see this new teams and there's a little switch. I can go and turn this switch off if I was gonna switch back. And here I am back in the old teams or classic teams as we call it now. I'm gonna quickly switch back into the new teams by this switch here. One of the benefits I mentioned in the intro is that channel switching is 1.7x faster. So just clicking to switch between channels is a lot faster than it was in the past. So it just feels snappier when you're moving between things. In the upper right, I'm gonna give a quick tour of some of the settings that have been updated. If I click on my name, you're gonna see I have the availability settings here. I can set my work location, things like office or remote, and set my status message. So similar to before, but slightly different. You can also add other accounts right here. So if I wanna add another tenant, and I'll talk about this in a little bit, multi-tenant switching and the ability to see what's happening in other tenants that you might be in, having your notifications all in one place in the upper right for other tenants, that's a big improvement. I'll show that a little later. The other one you can go is hit the three dot menu and settings have been updated. So I'll click settings here. You'll note that it's now a full screen for all your settings. So a lot of the things about opening content, starting chats, these are all here. I'm gonna to go to appearance and accessibility. One of the things that people might wanna change is the theme. So right here, I'm saying follow the operating system theme. I'm on Windows 11, that's why he's using this light mode here. I can go to classic and that puts the old blue bar up across the top. I can also change dark or light if you always wanna use light mode no matter what the operating system said. I'll put it back on follow operating system theme. Things like chat density are still right here. Sign language view, all the other things that we've had in the past, whether with captions or device settings of things like noise suppression mode, those are right here. So if you wanna have high noise suppression when you're on phone calls. So all the settings are similar. They're just put into this one place right here. And if I leave and click on Teams, I'll go out of settings. The other area that's got a nice facelift is meetings. So I'll go into calendar here and I'll open up a meeting and I'll click join. So everything is similar right here, but it's just nice and light, just like you saw in the main Teams window. I'll hit join now mm -hmm. and I can maximize and make sure you noticed I joined that meeting really fast. We have a 2X meeting joining speed improvement with the new Teams. This isn't me, this is a little photo of Deborah who I'm signed in for a demo account right now. So hey Deborah. But all the other parts are very similar up here. If you haven't looked at meetings in a while, we've got all sorts of great options, you know, device settings, language and speech, effects and avatars, all those things are the same. So meetings just has a nice facelift and joining meetings is twice as fast as it's been in the past. Again, some really nice time saving updates and then we'll leave. Going back into Teams, 
Another nice update is that you can pop any conversation out into its own window. So in this case, I will hit the three dot menu and say open conversation in a new window. And now I can have this popped out and I can stay in focus just on this conversation, do my replies and other things I might be doing. And we're gonna close this. One of the most popular updates has been the aggregation of all your tenant information. So if you've been added to teams in different tenants, so multi-tenant teams, when you get activity notifications, you can never see them in the tenant that you're in. So oftentimes you'll have to go and check up here and drop this down and look for notifications if you're in other tenants. I'm gonna switch over and show an example where I've got activity bell notifications coming from other tenants and show you what that looks like. Now to sign out of this account, I'm gonna drop this down. The sign out button is slightly different. It's right here. I'll click sign out and I'll log in with my other account really quick. I'm signed into a different tenant and in the upper right, you're gonna see this little activity bell with the number six. Now if I hover, you're gonna see it says activity in your other accounts and orgs. I'm signed into a different tenant. If I click here, it'll show me where this is coming from. So if I click right here, I am immediately switched to this other tenant and I can see exactly what is happening over here. And I can see my other activity bell notifications are right there on the left. If I click here, I can switch back to where I was super fast, click, boom, and I'm back here again. So tenant switching is super fast. Give a quick switch, see what's going on and switch right back. Now IT organizations might be asking, hey, we're not ready to use the new teams yet. That's fine, you can control when that new team switch in the upper left will show on or not. There's a site right here, link is on the screen as well as in the description. And commercial and education, there's a set of dates where different things will be changing for each. So right now, you can choose to move the new teams. Later on, it'll be on by default, but you can still roll back. And at some point, probably in June, it'll be on by default and you cannot roll back. But this site right here has a lot of great links and information. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.